because we're going to see some more tropical moisture work back into the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot to talk about in the tropics, but luckily everything that's going on, Joyce, Isaac, Invest 90 is out in the open Atlantic Ocean. That's where it will stay, so we don't have to worry about any of those. But this is the next area we will be watching. The National Hurricane Center highlighting this big orange blob, a 50% chance of tropical development over the next week, somewhere in the Western Caribbean, and that will drift into the Southern Gulf of Mexico late next week, so around maybe Friday time frame. But that can still change. It's still a ways out. This is going to change a lot. It's really important to just, you know, check back in with the latest on this. So over the weekend, nothing going to happen. We'll see a little bit more moisture again working into the Gulf of Mexico, and then a second second batch of moisture coming into the southern Gulf by Thursday and Friday, October 4th. And this is what we'll have to watch to see for possible tropical development, maybe Thursday, Friday of this upcoming work week. So a lot of time to, you know, monitor this to see what happens. So far, the big global models, again, not doing much with this over the weekend, even throughout the first part of the week. It's not until about Wednesday we could see some development in the Caribbean. And then again, that pushes into the southern Gulf by maybe Friday. And then beyond that point, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. It really depends on the upper steering currents. There might be a cold front that could kick this out of our area and keep it to the south, but it just has to line up correctly. So we have to watch this, you know, all eyes on this in the coming days. We'll just take it day by day, of course. The next name on the list is Kirk. After that is Leslie. Again, just check back in with us when it comes to the tropics. 